Right, what did you say on the podcast? Yeah, say the um, It needs to be contextualised for the um, day. I episode. was talking, telling a story about a time that I aggressively got approached. I don't know if, it, have you guys been to Ibiza before? No, I'm going in uh, August though. You're going in August? Oh, yeah. class. So you, you'll you see this. Like, if you walk down part of the strip in Ibiza, you are grabbed by street walking sex workers, okay? Right. Like, sex workers, they will, and it is aggressive. Yeah. And so I had this fit, like there was one who was like, to me, like, <laughs> do you want to come and get in this limo <laughs> with, with me and this woman? And I was like, absolutely not, because you're going to rob me. <laughs> like, I, it's just, yeah. that's what's going to happen. That limo is going to drive off. I feel like right now, that you're trying to explain what you did to me, your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 she was aggressive, love. Listen, no, I was walking so down I, the strip long, and she said, get yeah. in the limo. And I was like, all right, all right. Long, long story <laughs> short, I end up getting a hooker or sex worker. Sorry, I end up getting a sex worker. Right, that's, that's the story. And the not sto in a limo. Not in a limo. And it was one of the most depressing experiences. But what was funny about it was like when she was trying to take me down this bit to rob me, I was like, I'm not going to go down there because I'm going to get robbed. We just kind of like, just both stood there. And then that was that. She gave me like, went to touch my dick. It was like, no, this isn't going to happen, is it? Because you're here to rob me. That's the story. And then afterwards, she, I gave her the money and she went, oh, could I have another five euros to go and get pizza? And I went, you've done this date the wrong way round. That's the story, right? That's a, that's a joke. That's, a, a, that's, that's a joke. That's the punch joke. Punchline, right? It's a punch line. There yeah. we go. It's like that's when I smack head in you didn't deliver 20p it. for the bus. And then he sees how much change you've got and he goes, can I have the quid as well? <laughs> Never get all the change out. That happens a lot though, doesn't it? You're like, yeah. can I have 20p? You're like, of course you have 20p, lad. And he's like, oh, that's a two quid then. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, do you know what? It was exactly the same as that. This woman that I solicited for sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally the same thing. Um, I tell that story. So I end up in Sarah Pascoe's book where she's using this as an example of uh, men's attitudes towards sex workers. But I was on with Jamali and Kai and Kai made a joke. Well, I, I like sort of go, oh, then it turned out she was a, a sex worker. And Kai went, what gave that away when she went sucky, sucky $5? That's what he said. Like, it couldn't have been more clear. It was a, yeah. And she then went, Kai's racist joke. And I was just like, oh, like, Rena's like, but Kai isn't racist. Don't frame him as a racist. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what's fucked up about this stuff. You could get it and go, oh, that was a racist joke. Or was it a joke? playing on the stereotype that is given to certain sex workers yeah, yeah, because yeah. when they are street yeah. walkers approaching If anything, people. it was hack more than anything. It should have been, yeah. a, it was the Schindler's List <laughs> it was of the sex workers. <laughs> sucky, sucky. I wondered where you were going with that little side note before. <laughs> Full fucking circle. Yeah, I wish I hadn't brought it up now because I know that on Twitter, this guy's going to go, why'd you bring me back in this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But that's, but that's uh... that thing. When I watched what happened to you guys, it was that similar thing where I, Anyone I speak to who was a comic going, oh, what they're going through is horseshit, but I'm not going to say anything because yeah, yeah. then it will be me who yeah, gets yeah. thrown under the bus. We, we had messages from comics going, you know, like, we, we, I thought what you did was funny. Uh, I understand why people didn't. The witch hunts bollocks, but I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to get crucified. But yeah. yeah, and we had comics get in touch and go, who did publicly say something and said, I'm in a WhatsApp group with 12 other comics. Everyone's on your side. But they're not going to say anything because they don't want to get crucified with you. It's, it's a tricky one because I don't think you can just go to people like, you have to come out and put your career on a... Because you know what it's oh, like. We, 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 we absolutely didn't expect that no. at, yeah. at, at all. And we look, we said this on Patreon. We really don't want to upset people. We we dance on the line with this. When, when someone gets upset by something we've said, we're not happy about that. And yeah. we don't want to do that. It's never our intention to do that. We, we're just... And people it, it, have a right to be annoyed and upset. Of course. But, yeah. but, but, but you know, like, they have that right but it's the way they then try and shut the whole thing down and stop you ever doing what you do. Like, it's an overreaction. But I think Someone the layer that we've not- off come. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they do realize you're not part of- The BBC. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it, the, the, the other layer is <laughs> comedians, the comedians being part of that lynch mob is a special type of like, it's, do you know, like it's- it, Yeah. yeah. It's, so, so it's, it's fucking horrible, man, because like we're all in this thing that like what we all go through in Edinburgh and stuff and there's like a version where you're going to have a shit mode. Like the older comics who took me under their wing and bullied me mercilessly from 17, from when I was 16, I was like, bullied me mercilessly, give me shit all the time. It was always done as a way of, hey, what we're doing here means any crowd you meet who do this to you, they're not going to do it half as good as we've done it to you. Yeah, so yeah. you're bulletproof now. You go on and someone in the show starts screaming at you or tell you, fuck off and fuck you and fuck this. 
it just can become, you can deal with it. It's funny because you now are sat here insecure about things you didn't know you needed to be insecure about. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but there's also other things that like, if you're a comedian, it's without ever having like a ring or official certification, you're part of like a, a comedian's masons group. Yeah. You're part of a clique of, it's a small group of, of men and women that can make a living doing comedy in virtually any country. But in this country, I'd hazard a guess at six, seven, eight hundred people max would could be properly call themselves stand-ups. You're meant to be like, there's a bit of camaraderie. Okay, you can criticize each other. You can say when each other's doing wrong, but just feels like hanging's a bit much, and it feels like it's just I don't know what it's almost going against the code of like, yeah. are you would you are you happy to throw another comic under the bus? Do you think you're gaining something, or or are you more activist than you are comedian? That's that's a that's a good point. So that's exactly that's exactly it, it, what it but is. The thing I don't get with, with these people is like the place I think you always start a stand up or like I like to is like I'm a fucking idiot who doesn't know anything. Like what you lot were saying on the podcast was funny, but it was. Dan and uh, it, this was it wasn't fucking Mensa at the UN like giving their like speech about it was two guys you fucking about. Right. It want to be funny. You just wanted yeah. to be funny, and these people are coming at it from a. I think it's a place where they haven't worked on themselves as people, and I think like comedy is almost good in therapy in a way when you get good at it because you start going like, "Here's my issues that I'm going to go tell to a room of strangers. I'm kind of fucked up, so let's not take everything I say yeah, as golden. Yeah. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Here's yeah. a story about I've just told a story about me getting a sex worker in IB for like, what the yeah. fuck went wrong in my childhood that led to that moment? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. but that, that that's it's not an attack up. on sex workers. It's not an it's attack a, on it's sex a, workers. It's a, like, yeah. It's uh, layered. It's it's like it's a sad story about you, really. Yeah, isn't it? it's yeah. it's incredibly tragic. Yeah, like, but it's funny. It's funny. But I paid to a woman like to this. touch your dick and then didn't let her. <laughs> All right, and then and then but used to buy a pizza. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. Kai's racist. Yeah. Kai's All right, racist. so let's have a break. <laughs> 